Okay, and continuing now, uh, on this I want to tell you a few little things. Uh, since you're staying at West, right as you come through the entrance and you're headed into the park, on the left-hand side of the road, you'll see a little gravel road. That's a really cool little spot that not a lot of tourists see. So you take that gravel road down to the river here. Really good fishing spot right there. Uh, <clears throat> it's a dirt road or gravel, but it's pretty pretty good. You're not going to get stuck or anything. But it's a place, it, kind of an insider tip thing, because you don't see tourists up there very often. And then, let's see, another little thing. Right in this area... It's not going to be much benefit, just of interest, interest, I think. When there's uh, animals killed by cars on the road, stuff like that, that's where they put the carcasses. There's a little dirt road. You can't get back there because they keep the gate locked. But that's why you might see animals, more animals in this area, especially predators and stuff, because that's where they're uh, actually feeding the animals the the carcasses so I thought I'd throw that one in there let's see I like this little uh, fountain flat drive it's, it's usually a good place to uh, park have picnic uh, see a lot of bison in that area also a really good stretch of the river to fish there's there's trails back in here and it's they're really spectacular places to walk. Then also on this fountain flat drive there's a right at this little picnic area there's a grave. And it's got some historical significance. This uh winter innkeeper there used to be a, a hotel back here. It's not there anymore. This is back 1700s, I imagine, something like that. But Debbie's saying 1800s. Uh, but she died of tuberculosis. Uh, Maddie Culver, I think that she said. Anyway, the, the grave's there, and it's, uh, it's something most people uh, don't get a chance or never never know was there. But it's it's kind of worth uh, stopping there just to check that out, just because it's you know historical and you'd be one of the few people that know about it. <laughs> Still talking about this fountain flat area, one of the trails that there leads off to a place called the Queen's Laundry, and there's still some ruins out there from where early settlers. Uh, were doing their laundry or, or having their laundry done and the, the laundry people would go and wash them into that that geyser back there, hot pool. Uh, it's kind of dangerous to uh, walk back there because you, you don't know where the good footing places are because some of the trail is not there by the time you get to those ruins. So probably don't really want to do it, but just some information and then just to close out on the first day uh, information stuff we'll go through this little list of uh, Firehole Canyon Drive that's worth it we talked about that uh, fountain paint pots that's uh, that's worth it it's it's allowing 45 minutes for you to do that that's probably a low estimate but it close uh, Firehole Lake Drive, we talked about that. That's worth driving down there. They give you 30 minutes for that. Uh, Old Fateful Area, that's a busy spot. One of the few places that you can actually buy a meal. It's not going to be very good. I didn't like anything I, I bought from their little uh, cafeteria, but they got food. But I'd bring, I'd pack in your lunch every day. Uh, Kepler Springs, uh, or Kepler Cascades, that's a, a pretty cool 
waterfall. That's worth stopping at, but they're only saying 15 minutes, so that's about right. You're not going to spend much time there. Just look at the waterfall, maybe get some pictures. And then West Thumb Geyser Basin, and we talked about that with the uh, black sands and stuff like that. Uh, and then there's <clears throat> that Biscuit Basin and the trail back to Ferry Falls. Really cool area to check out. Grant College would probably be a better place to eat lunch. Yeah, Debbie's saying, she's saying Grant Village would be a better place to eat lunch if you weren't going to pack your lunch in right down here. West Thumb and then... That West Thumb and then Grant's right down in here. The only other place really is the lake. The lake has a cafeteria, but I just wasn't impressed with any food I bought any in any of those restaurants.